Hey guys, Tim from American Powertrain here. And one of the frequently asked questions that we get is not how do I install the transmission in the car, it's actually how do I mount the clutch master cylinder in my car. Now, for years we've sold brackets that can pretty much adapt to any application that you have, but it still relies on you to get all the geometry correct and sometimes drill a hole through your firewall and everything else. So what we've come out with is something that's gonna simplify your life. And what I have here is the setup for a 64 to 66 Chevelle, but the process is gonna be pretty similar to most makes and models. So here it is. This is our newest, and you can see it's a complete assembly. It actually already has the clutch master cylinder mounted on the pedal assembly itself. It already comes with the hose. Um, this beauty of it all is that this, you bolt it in, and all the geometry is correct. So it's not going to overstroke this piston. It's not going to understroke it. You're going to have a nice, perfect pedal setup every single time when you use our bracket here. Now, there's really only two bolts. So there's a bolt that goes through this sleeve here, and then there's this front bolt right here. So what you'll end up doing is pulling out the factory clutch pedal and then bolting this to the side. So if you were in the car, your factory brake pedal would be here and this bolts to the side of it. So this makes it just super easy to install and it takes a lot of the guesswork out. And even like this fitting here rotates to where if you need to rotate it up or down, you can do that as well. Um, this takes out all the guesswork with any sort of geometry. You bolt it in, it's done. So included with this kit is that assembly, a new braided hose, if you don't have one already. We actually include one of our billet aluminum reservoirs, and this is a pretty slick little piece. It looks really good. Let me show you the inside here. So you can see just a basic reservoir. Comes with a barbed fitting on the bottom, and it has a two-piece bracket here, so you can take the bracket off and mount that or get your holes lined up, then bolt this back together to get it all come together. So just different mounting options for however you want to mount this. And lastly, we include a new bolt with a machine sleeve. So when you your factory clutch pedal has a, a sleeve, so to speak, on it already, and you'll end up removing that. So this is the, the pedal assembly sleeve that you'll, you'll mount that allows the brake pedal to pivot along with holding this clutch pedal assembly in place. So um, it's a really easy deal. It's got the bolts that come in and out to tighten everything up. We include new plastic bushings in there in case yours are cracked or rotted or old or just plain out missing. Um, so what I wanna do here is show you the process of installing this. And like I said, this one's specific to 64 to 66 Chevy Chevelles, like this one here. But the process is going to be pretty similar for any of your classic trucks, muscle cars, etc. So let's, let me get under the dash here and show you what we got. So don't mind the terrible wiring job on this car, but here's what we installed years ago, our old Hydromax setup. Um, you can see here the rod coming through the firewall, and it goes up and attaches here to the clutch pedal. And on this car, we ended up having to weld a tab onto the clutch pedal to get the geometry right. Um, so you can see it's, it works great. The car's had 10,000 plus miles put on it trouble free. But if you're not as handy or don't have access to a welder or anything like that, uh, it could be a little bit difficult. So uh, we just wanted to show you what our existing setup looked like, which again, works great um, and might be better in some preferences for some people. But... In this case, we're going to swap it out to this other version um, to show you what all what all that looks like. So uh, let me let me get this other pedal taken out, and we'll go from there. So here's the factory clutch pedal assembly, um, and I I left this on. So this is the rod that we did have hooked up that went out to the outside the firewall to our slave cylinder. Um, you can see here. Years ago, we welded on this tab to mount this to get the geometry correct. Um, but I wanted to show you, so normally the clutch pedal has this big 
rod here and your brake pedal also pivots off of this. So this would go through the bracket under the dash, little clip on the other side, and there's some plastic bushings in here. So what we have now is kind of the same deal. So we have this machined metal sleeve here and with the, we include new plastic bushings. So instead of having to slide in this, you can actually slide this in um, in place. And what this will do is it'll hold your brake pedal in, in position and it'll also hold your clutch pedal the entire assembly. So I want to show you this outside the car uh, before we put it in. And it's pretty simple. I mean, it's got a big bolt here that uh, threads in and, and tightens everything up. So what I'm going to do next is get this guy installed on the actual brake arm itself and then we can hang the assembly underneath the dash. Okay, one thing you're going to have to do is this little rubber here, that's where your factory clutch pedal would rest up against that in the out, fully out position. You're going to have to pop that out in order to get this other bolt in. So. This piece here you're going to have to take out. Alright, so we went ahead and got the complete bracket assembly bolted under the car. And right now it's it's not 100% tight. So uh, when it is though, the pedals would be nice and level to each other. Um, so it would be the same spacing and everything is, is just like your factory pedals. So um, we'll end up having to take the low car pedal pad off of this one, mounted on that guy. Um, but what we went ahead and did is uh, we have our lines hooked up. So this is the actual braided hose that goes down to our slave and then this rubber hose will go to our reservoir. So we'll have to snake those through the firewall to get those in the right positions. But let me show you here uh, what it takes to bolt this in. Okay, so there's two bolts. So the first one is this guy here. And remember we showed you earlier that you have to remove that pedal pad from your factory. Um, this is the factory bracket that the clutch and brake pedal mount to. So the one bolt is going to go through this this aftermarket bracket and into through there and with this bolt and nut. And uh, it's important to note too that our bracket is going to go on top of the factory bracket. If you have it underneath, the geometry is going to be wrong and your pedal is going to run out of room. Um, the other bolt that we showed you earlier with the with the sleeves and the new the plastic bushings and everything um, Can't really show you that because there's a bunch of stuff in the way here But what we did is we took it and we ran it from the right to the left So from the passenger side to the driver's side and hooked up our brake pedal and then it leaves the opening right there at the end so we held this up in place this entire assembly and then screwed the bolt in um, there are two 916 bolts to tighten the whole assembly up uh, we still have to finish tightening this guy up but uh, we went ahead ahead of time and we tightened up our braided hose to the actual uh, slave master there but um, it's it rotates um, side to side so you can really it's pretty easy to mount that at any time but um, you know Again, you can just, we did it ahead of time just to save a step and not have to reach all the way back there, but you don't have to. You can do it, you can install that after you get this assembly put in place. We need to mount this reservoir and underneath these Chevelles, you can really mount them just about anywhere. Uh, we're just going to probably mount it over here next to the wiper motor up against the firewall. Just nice, clean, easily accessible. You want to be able to access this obviously because you're going to have to fill it with fluid. Um, you want to make sure the hose is away from any sort of headers or the steering linkage or anything like that. So, um, like I said, we're probably just going to mount it over here up against the firewall and uh, get everything bled up. So our very last thing is going to be to transfer over that low car pedal pad over to this new one. But we just want to show you uh, how nicely this thing works. It's just, I mean, buttery smooth. The, the Everything's, you know, dimensionally correct way easier to install than when we did the original install about 10 years ago so um, again I think anybody that wants it to do it just easy and correct the first time this is the kit for you all right guys that's it we got the new pedal assembly in got the reservoir mounted everything bled everything's nice and tight the very last step hit the road <laughs>